Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where we're joined this morning. We've got the great pleasure of having Jean Todd in the studio here, who is the president of the FIA, as well as the UN Secretary General Special Envoy uh, for Road Safety. Jean, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Glad to be here with you. We're here because we've got the future network car symposium that's happening today here at ITU. It would have been at the Geneva Motor Show, but uh, um, that was cancelled. As I mentioned in my introduction, as well as being president of the FIA, the Fédération Internationale d'Automobile, you're also the UN Secretary General Special Envoy on Road Safety. Now, 2011 to 2020 was declared the UN Decade of Action on Road Safety. Where do we stand today? Yes, that's, uh, that's right. I mean, 2011-2020 to was the UN Decade of Action for Road Safety. Incidentally, and I like your badge, um, Road Safety is part uh, of the SDG 3.6 with the aim to half the number of victims by 2020. And unfortunately, it will not happen. And uh, we had a ministerial meeting in uh, Stockholm uh, 10 days ago and um, of course it was very important to make an assessment of uh, what had happened and what needs uh, to happen in the next decade 2020-2030. So I mean unfortunately I mean due to the increase of number of vehicles around the world uh, it has been one increase of victims uh, on the road. And if you take the WHO uh, figures, last year were 1.4 million people who died on the road, which means uh, over 3,700 people dying on the roads every day. And you know, in a period where we speak about other pan pandemic, I mean, can you imagine what it means? 3,700 people dying every day. It's number one cause of mortality for youth between 5 to 29. And on top of that, we need to add uh, injuries because of road crashes. And um, it's uh, one evaluation about 150,000 injuries with disabilities. So of course, it's a pain for the victim, but it's also a big burden for the country, then it's uh, depending of the country between three to five percent of the GDP. And you know, contrary to other pandemic, we have the prescriptions. And here it comes to, I mean, uh, the symposium. It's around uh, education, law enforcement, vehicles, road infrastructures, and post crash care. So, here, of course, all the new technologies we can be applied are essential. And um, also, UNEC is uh, developing the UN Road Safety Conventions, uh, which is absolutely essential to convince the member states to apply those uh, conventions. So, I mean, that was part of the topics which were discussed uh, in Tokholm. And uh, I mean, uh, I would say that's also a great opportunity to have this uh, symposium to refresh memories to make also an assessment about what has happened, what are the new technologies. And uh, of course, we speak a lot about autonomous uh, vehicles. We speak a lot about uh, electronic stability control. I mean, and uh, of course, we are talking about uh, two different levels of technologies. Autonomous vehicles, I mean, we speak a lot about it, but it will take still years before, I mean, globally, there is access to these kind of vehicles. So I do believe that uh, you will have available um, autonomous uh, vehicle probably for public transportation. But uh, I mean, we need to act now to, I mean, to develop uh, new technologies uh, or to make sure that they are applied in developing countries where 90, over 90% 90 of the victims are occurring. And of course, you know, the average of age of the vehicles which are four wheels or two wheels are of course much older uh, so it's very important to see also what can be adapted to those old vehicles with uh, new technologies so i would say it's a fascinating time challenging time uh, as well but uh, a lot has been done and much more can be done 
Let's talk about the technologies. Uh, if we had been at the car show, we were, I'm sure we would have seen a lot of uh, innovations there. What are the most interesting uh, and the latest technologies in automotive? So I will say, you know, at the moment uh, we have been talking about road safety, but uh, I mean, uh, one uh, big topic, which w rightly we are talking, is about uh, environment, uh, climate change. So I mean, uh, um, a lot of pressure is on manufacturers for vehicles with zero emission. So I mean. Uh, Electric cars. So if um, if a Geneva Motor Show would have happened, I'm convinced that a lot would have been about electric uh, technology, which has uh, a lot of merits, but also a lot of downsides. So in the reality, I do believe uh, a lot on hybrid uh, technology, which is a, a mixture, you know. And uh, of course, new technology uh, under development uh, and uh, soon coming like um, uh, fuel cell, you know, and uh, hydrogen uh, technology. So it's a, I would say it's a fascinating uh, period. But I mean, ev even more than period, I think we are living in a fascinating uh, part of the society uh, because when you see I mean, motoring is quite new. It's just over a century ago. And when uh, you see, I mean, the development uh, which has occurred over each uh, decade, it's absolutely fascinating. But of course, it does create problem. It does create problem because the number of vehicles has increased, number of vehicles increasing traffic, congestions, pollutions are increasing and it's something which needs uh, to be addressed. And again, a symposium hosted uh, combining uh, UNEC uh, experience, expertise and ITU will allow us to move forwards. Are automation and connectivity the final answer to road safety, in your opinion? And how would uh, this answer differ in developed and developing countries? You touched upon it in your previous uh, answer, but I just wanted to just probe a little bit more here. Mm, I mean, of course, that would be ideal, you know. Uh, again, if we take statistics, 90% uh, of road uh, crashes is due to human errors. So, and y you, you can see that, uh, I mean, in the air, you know, in the air, I think last year it was less than 1,000 people who died because uh, of air crash. And uh, I mean, all, most of it is automized, you know. Uh, so uh, it will be fantastic if we could transfer that to the road, but unfortunately, it is not yet uh, possible. That's why we must concentrate to the reality. And the reality is driver ahead. And it's a lot of cheap driver ahead. And I mean, I, I will take an uh, ex example. Um, I mean, uh, anti-brake system, ABS, you know, which is quite, uh, quite new. It's uh, maybe 20, uh, 20 years back or 30 years back, it was an invention. So, I mean, it allows you when you brake, I mean, the, the car is deciding, I mean, the, the pulsion on, on the pedal because it's better than human being. You know, so a lot of those technologies are smarter than human being. So you, you, we, 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 we must make the, I mean, the difference of what is possible now, what is achievable, and what is not yet achievable, which will come later, and uh, I mean, make sure that everybody will be able to enjoy as soon as possible of those new technologies. Finally, let me ask you, in your view, what are the key barriers to achieving the full potential of new automotive technology? I would say finance, you know, finance, uh, regulations uh, amongst the government. But I mean, you must bear in mind that uh, unfortunately, a lot uh, of countries around in the developing world had not yet access to public transportation, which incidentally is another SDG 11.2 to give access to public transportation to any citizens around the world by 2030. So, you know, I mean, uh, here we are, uh, we are blessed because we are living 
in uh, developed countries where there is a a lot of good education on road safety. It's a good law enforcement. Vehicles are good. Road infrastructure are good. Post-crash care is good. But it is not the case in the developing countries, which are 50 years behind. Well, Jean Turbo, thank you very much again for joining us this year at the Future Network Car Symposium. We look forward to catching up with you again very soon and uh, wish you the very best for the future. Thank you, and thank you for your engagement to help us to address better road safety. <laughs> thank you.